Thanks for staying with us. We begin this segment of the magazine with our regular recap of the Prime Minister's activities in the past week. That's followed by the FSC Minute. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Now, it was last week that the government decided to reverse the tax package previously announced by Finance Minister Audrey Shaw. This was done through a special broadcast to the nation by Prime Minister Bruce Golding. Here's Simone Wolf with a breakdown of the revised tax measures. Basic food items, some agricultural supplies, certain devices used by the disabled, sports equipment and energy-saving devices such as solar water heaters will remain tax-free. This represents one of the most substantial changes to the tax package announced and debated in the House of Representatives a week ago. Prime Minister Bruce Golding says this is an indication of his administration's commitment to listen to the concerns of the people and at the same time ensure that government can provide the services it should. I want to commend the people of Jamaica because despite the strong opposition to the measures announced last Thursday, the country was not shut down. There has been no disruption, no violent demonstrations. This government does not have to await an eruption to recognize that it has to change course. We have listened and we have heard. We must respond. In response, the tax package that comes into effect on January 1 will look significantly different. The new package will retain the increased GCT from 16.5 to 17.5%. It will also still have an increased tax on fuel of 15% and a higher SCT rate on cigarettes. In addition, there is still to be a tax on domestic electricity bills, but the rate of that tax has been modified. Instead of the new GCT rate of 17.5%, Residential electricity usage that exceeds 200 kilowatt hours for the month will attract a special GCT rate of 10%. As previously mentioned, the government has also decided to reverse its earlier decision to apply GCT to certain basic food items. In addition to removing that tax, funeral expenses up to $100,000 as well as construction services will also continue to be GCT free. The 10% tax on electricity usage will also be applied to commercial and industrial customers. There is to be a fixed 10% GCT rate on tourism services. A 5% advanced GCT payment will be applied to all taxable imported goods, which importers can have deducted from their regular GCT payments provided they file their returns. Also, the income tax rate for persons earning more than $5 million annually will be temporarily increased. For those with an income of greater than $5 million, the new income tax rate is 27.5%. It increases further to 35% for those earning more than $10 million per year. In addition, Motor vehicle licenses for luxury vehicles with an engine capacity of 3,000 cc and above will be increased by $4,000 per annum. Three, additional tax rates ranging between 20% and 25% will be applied to certain luxury goods such as jewelry, television sets exceeding 32 inches, shotguns and shotgun cartridges, jet skis, and pleasure boats. For GIS News, I'm Simone Wolf. Simone Wolf there ending that recap of the revised tax package. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Bruce Golding had a special message to Jamaicans on Christmas Day. He says the season brings a feeling of togetherness that should continue even when the holidays have ended. In these especially difficult times, let us make an extra effort to spread the joy of Christmas. Let us reach out to those whose circumstances defy the happiness that Christmas is all about. The poor and the elderly, the sick and the shut-in. And let us look out especially for the children who look forward to Christmas with so much hope and expectation. Let them not be disappointed. And the Prime Minister has decided to lead by example. 
He held a special Christmas treat for persons in the Denham Town and Fletcher's Land areas. Children and adults received bags with various goodies. Because you were the ones that went before. Yes, and you were the ones that laid the foundation, right? Yes, so we get all in together. Yes, just to try and see if we can pass a little something to you that will help you do something good. And that concludes our recap of the Prime Minister's weekly activities. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Tune in to Jamaica Magazine next Monday for another recap. Welcome to the FSC Minute. I am your host, Nadi Newsom. We continue to explore aspects of pensions this week, and my guest today is Nicolette Cupidon Hennes, Senior Director of Pensions at the FSC. Welcome, Nicolette. Thank you, Nadine. Nicolette, why is it important for every Jamaican to have a plan in place for retirement? After age 65, most of us will not be in a position to work for a living anymore. During the time that we are working, therefore, we should plan for the golden years. Some persons retire with very little personal savings and may end up being a burden to their family and sometimes even the state. Having a pension, therefore, will provide some measure of financial security at a time when we are most vulnerable. I therefore encourage all Jamaicans to make appropriate and adequate provisions for life after 65 by becoming a member of an approved retirement scheme or superannuation fund. If a person is self-employed, what are his or her options in planning for retirement? There are two types of pension plans. The first is a superannuation fund, which is provided by an employer to his or her employees. The second type of pension plan available is the retirement scheme. For self-employed persons, the most suitable option is the retirement scheme. It is established for self-employed persons or for persons who may be employed, but their employer does not provide the benefit of a pension plan. The pensions legislation specifies that contributions to retirement schemes should be no more than 20% of a member's annual income. Thank you, Nicolette. My guest today was Nicolette Cupidon Hennes, Senior Director of Pensions at the FSC. For the FSC Minute, I am Nadi Newsom. <laughs> Felices fiestas. Equoden. Bon vacances. Or happy holidays. I'm sure you're grateful for the time to let your hair down and do something that you enjoy. Mmm, like visit the beautiful beaches of our island or just eat some nice food like rice and peas and potato oh, oh salad. My, oh, I'm right, foodie. But most of all, you should be grateful for the time you have to spend with your family and friends. Yeah, show them love, show them kindness and make them know you appreciate them. You don't need money to do this. Your very presence will say it all. I agree. Reminisce on past achievements. Think about the good times and what you can do to make the bad times better. Remember when we used to sit in the living room and watch the black and white TV and tell doppy stories? Mm -hmm. Remember when we used to tea for Mama Nice Spoon and share it with your little brother and sister? <laughs> or for the younger ones, remember when we used to watch Dragon Ball Z and play video games all night long? I bet you still do it, right? <laughs> for some though, it's a time for religious reflections. Whatever you do during this holiday period, make sure it is safe. Make sure it's productive. But most of all, make sure you have a plenitude of fun. You know, enough, enough fun. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays, Jamaica, from, from the, the Jamaica, Jamaica Information, Information Service. Around this time last year, young Philip Thomas was the toast of the biggest art show in the island. He copped the coveted Aaron Matalon Award for the best overall work in the National Gallery's Biennial Exhibition. Now is the time when art lovers review their collections 
and shop for new trends. Is Philip Thomas something you could see on your wall?